Okay, so right now we're going to talk about balancing chemical equations. So when chemists write chemical equations, they do not usually use word equations. When dealing with ch chemicals, this method is not exact enough. Using a word equation would be like writing a word equation for building a house. So for example, energy plus wood plus concrete plus steel plus metal plus gas goes and produces a house. The builder would soon have many questions, like how much of each material would they need? Chemists feel the same way. They need exact quantities of the chemicals that they need to use when chemical reactions are used in a technological process. Word equations do not state the quantities of the substances needed. They also do not reveal the types of atoms involved. So if we compare the following equations, so we've got vinegar plus baking soda goes to sodium acetate plus water plus carbon dioxide. So when the chemical formulas of reactants and products are used, then you can determine exactly what atoms make up the reactants and products. Now we need to check and see if, the, uh, if the, these equations are balanced. So a balanced chemical equation has the same elements and the same number of atoms on, of each element on both sides. So we have a sample problem here of carbon plus oxygen gas gives us carbon dioxide. So first we have to ask ourselves, what elements are on the reactant side? Well, the letters shown are C and O. If we cannot remember, we can check on our periodic table and find out that C is for the element carbon and O is the element oxygen. Now how many atoms of each are on the reactant side? Well, there are no subscripts in the carbon, nor is there a large number in front of the carbon. This means that we have only one atom of carbon. The subscript, too, besides the oxygen, tells us that there are two atoms of oxygen. Now, we have to ask ourselves, what elements are on the product side? Again, we have carbon and oxygen. So how many atoms of each element are on the product side? Well, there is no large number in front of the carbon dioxide. Therefore, there is only one of these molecules. There is no subscript with carbon, so there is only one atom of carbon. And oxygen has a subscript of two, so there are two atoms of oxygen. So now we ask ourselves, is this reaction balanced? On the reactant side, we have one atom of carbon and two of oxygen. And on the product side, we have one atom of carbon and two of oxygen. So yes, the equation is balanced. Now, the equation for showing the decomposition of water is H, or sorry, is 2 H2O it's converted to O2 plus 2 H2. In such equations, the number in front of the chemical formulas are called coefficients. Coefficients are used to balance these individual atoms. In 2H2O uh, produces O2 plus 2H2, the 2 in front of the H is a coefficient, and it tells you how many H2 molecules are present. So, we have our sample problem here. What elements are on the reactant side? Well, we have hydrogen and oxygen. Now, how many atoms of each element are on the reactant side? So the 2 in front of the H2O makes this tricky. The large 2 means that there are two H2s and two O's. So let's deal with each separately. 2H2 means that I have an H2 plus an H2. Then the subscript 2 beside the hydrogen tells us that there are two hydrogen atoms in each H2 molecule. So two our H2 gives us a hydrogen and a hydrogen, and there are two of these in the chemical name, so that means we have four hydrogen atoms. Two O's means that there are two oxygen atoms. Now, what elements are on the product side? Again, we have hydrogen and oxygen. Now, how many atoms are of each element are in the product side? So, O2 we have two O's in that case. Then we have a 2 in front of the H2, which makes it tricky again. It's the same sort of process as we did before. Remember that if I have 2 in front of my H2, these are actually multiplying. So 2 times 2 is 4, which we see here. So the question, is the equation balanced? Well, on the reactant side, I have two oxygen atoms and four hydrogen atoms. And on the product side, I have two oxygen atoms and four hydrogen atoms. So yes, the equation is balanced. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next day.